Hello guys, so today I'm going to be sharing with you guys how to make this really cute bandana. It is so cute and really really easy to make. You can make this just with like some like leftover yarn that you have. The yarn I am going to be using is 100% cotton. This is like the perfect project to make if you have some leftover yarn. I'm not sure how many grams this is exactly. It's kind of just like my leftovers and then i'm also going to be using a five millimeter hook and then you also need a pair of scissors so the first thing we're going to do is we're going to make a magic loop so i have my two fingers here and we're going to kind of wrap that around like that put my hook under and then over pulling that through this is kind of just how i do it and then we're gonna chain three just like that and now we're gonna do two double crochets in the same magic loop one two now we're gonna chain three one two and then we're gonna do three double crochets in the magic loop again I'm just gonna pull this and make it as tight as possible now we're going to chain three we're gonna flip our work. Okay, and then into the first hole right here, we're gonna put two double crochets into the same hole. So, same chain. So right here, we're gonna put three double crochets into this hole that we have here in the middle. We're going to chain three and then into the same hole again, we're going to put three double crochets. And then the last chain here, we're gonna put three double crochets. Okay, and then we're gonna chain three chain three, flip our work, and we're gonna put two double crochets into the first chain. This is basically the pattern. We just continue doing this all the way till you have like your desired length. Uh, we're gonna do three double crochets into this hole here. And just like that and then three double crochets into the middle hole here chain three and then three double crochets into the same hole And then right here, there's another hole. We're gonna put three double crochets. And then another three double crochets into our last hole at the very end. Okay, so that is our pattern and we're just going to continue doing that until we have like our desired length. I think I'm going to do 11 and I will see how that looks, but I'll show you guys one more row 
and then I'll meet you guys after when we're done. So I'm gonna chain three, flip my work, and then I'm gonna put two double crochets into the first chain. Just like that. Find the next hole, which is right here. So as you can see, we're going into like th every three clusters. So one, two, three, and then the next hole will be after these three clusters. We're gonna put three double crochets into that hole. And then right here in the middle, after the three clusters again, we're gonna put another three double crochets. chain three and then I'm gonna put three double crochets into the same hole so here's the three clusters and we're gonna go into this hole here and then right here at the end I'm gonna put another three double crochets so that is the pattern and we're just gonna continue doing that all the way around until we have our desired length and then we'll I'll come back and I'll show you how to do like the strings and stuff I ended up doing 13 rows and that's just kind of how I liked it after you have your desired length you're gonna chain 30 so we're actually gonna chain 60 not 30 my bad so I'm gonna do another 30 cuz I feel like that's just not long enough, so we're gonna do 30 more. Okay, now I have 60 and it's looking a lot better. So into the next chain, we're just gonna do slip stitches till we get back over here. We're just gonna do slip stitches till we get all the way back. So once you get back to the end over here, we're just going to do single crochet all the way across. You kind of just go wherever like the holes are. Okay, so now I made it all the way to the end. We're gonna chain 60 and we're just gonna do the same thing that we did to the other side where we're making our string. Okay, so I have my chain of 60. Now I'm just gonna repeat the same thing where I go into the first chain here and I just slip stitch and we're just gonna do that all the way so we get to the other side. Okay, so now grabbing my scissors, I'm just going to, these scissors are horrible. Okay, there we go. So now I'm just gonna tie this off. And all done. Now we just can hide that string with a needle. It is complete and it's so cute. I'm like in my pajamas right now, but we are complete and it's so cute. I love the way it turned out. I hope you guys like this video. And if you guys did, don't forget to give this video a thumbs up and subscribe for more crochet videos. I know I don't make too many, but once in a while I like to upload one.